does that even get categorized? That's a good problem to have uh, on a, you know, in, in, in our team. And this is the case of this, uh, this, of this team. They started the sort of art of light graffiti. Uh, again, based in Cologne, Germany. It's unlike anything I've ever seen before. It reaches millions of people. And with that, uh, Jens. Yeah, I'm uh, Jens from Lichtfaktor. We started in 2006 uh, to do light painting, which was actually not intended to be a proper project. It was just more playing with this technology. And um, then we put this on the net. This was in the very early stages where MySpace was still on the web. And um, <laughs> yeah, it's a long time ago. Um, but anyways, uh, people liked it a lot and they pushed us and even Behance was also a very important website for us because a lot of people got to know our work. And so we started to do this more and yeah, like a lot of films. And I'm going to show you a film, maybe some people of you know it already. This was actually the first film that we have done which was a little bigger and it was done for Sky Movies. I'm gonna break this film. It takes two and a half uh, minutes and it's probably too long for the speech. But if you wanna check it, you can see it on our Behance portfolio. Most people ask once they saw this, how do we do this? And um, you know, in nowadays where we all use to, to play with computers and do all this stuff, um, we told them, well, see, this is an important thing. It's not digital at all. The only thing that we used was a digital camera. And as you can see, we have a lot of lights that you can buy nearly anywhere. And we were playing around quite a lot with this. And because of the, you know, becoming famous on the net and because of a lot of clients asking us to do films for them, we get the chance to get really in depth with this. So we were doing a lot of research and looking for uh, ways to make the light look a lot nicer. So, you know, we, we started with colors, we started with optics and stuff like that. Um, this, for instance, it's just a normal light for a bike. You know, you can buy it nearly anywhere and it's flashing, so when you move it, it gets this nice structure. It's nothing really special, but you, you really need to, to try it and, you know, do it again and again. And this is what's actually the important thing why you know, light painting is something that's really old. Actually, it started with the photography. But this one is possible just because we have a digital camera so we can try it and see the result right afterwards. And here you can see another uh, example. A lot of people were asking, how did we do this? It was just a little trick with a little glass on top of this uh, torch, so nothing special, actually. But we also created certain technologies to create a different look, this, for instance, is um, nothing else just like a flash box and you have a sort of a mask or how we call it a stencil. So you can have shapes in there to have a different look than the organic hand-drawn uh, hand um, lights that we use. We also developed some kind, something that we call the light printer. It's basically just um, LEDs that are programmable and you can put any um, text or even a symbol or something in there and then print it in the air. Um, all that you see is basically just a long time exposure. So you have a tripod, you put the camera on it, you do your exposure of 20 to 30 seconds, and then you do the drawing, 
and in the end you see the result. The films are made by using a lot of those uh, photos, so it takes a really, really long, long time to do this. Normally, in one night, we were able to shoot about 15 to 20 seconds, sometimes less, depends on, on the night and everything. And so, you know, we were really into this and doing this for years, and people asked to do more and more and more. And there was a stage where art became business, or as I would say, art becomes busyness. Because, you know, when you do this and people ask you to do this again and again, you're, it's sort of not the same thing that, that it used to be when, in the beginning when we were playing around. So here's another example that we did years later. And I think most of you know it already. This film was shot in South Africa because it was shot during the summer. And the nights in South Africa in the summer, there is winter there, um, I, a lot longer, so it helped us for the production. It was a really expensive ex uh, production and you know, a lot of light painters and as you can see uh, the, the trees in the back for instance they were really huge and you know it took a lot of time to do this and create this. So there was a stage when we sort of realized okay now we're sort of you know did anything that we could do with the films and we had a lot of clients people asking us to do this on, on events, on stage, and we said, you know, the drawing itself is not really imp interesting to watch. So we came up with something that we call light painting 2.0. This was a time when 2.0 was really, you know, famous to, to say. So uh, what we actually do is we create a system where we're able to do the light painting instead of with a uh, photo camera with a video camera. So we could do it in real time and we started to create shows with this. And this is something that we do uh, quite a lot right now. You can see this um, special light equipment again that we have for all the, the things. And you know, it was basically just the next step of moving forward, using the light painting and creating stuff with this live on stage. So, that was all nice, and we realized, okay, you know, it's going step forwards and evolving all this uh, light painting thing, but we realized that due to the speed that we have nowadays with those things, people like it for years, and then they say, oh, I know it already. I've seen this already. So if you want to stay alive as a creative person, you sort of need to always find new ways to express yourself and, you know, always create something new. So we started up to find other ways to work with. No, it doesn't, ah, there you go. For instance, this is something that we call video painting. The idea is basically simply, it's uh, just a video mapping on objects. It can be a building or something. And then we have, then we paint on it and we try to sort of tell a story by painting with this. You can use this even for structure animation as well. Here it's uh, in Frankfurt during the Luminale. It was last, last year, I think. So, and it's, it's a very simple system. As you can see, it's just a tablet. People can draw on it. It's really into it. Uh, uh, really easy, so even little kids can play with it. Um, but we also have like illustrators working with us and create you know, new ways. It's even more interesting if you do something like this on objects, like here, in, uh, for example, on a car. So because of the three-dimensional um, object itself, it sort of gets better looking and it's more interesting. And this is something that we sort of keep on going to find ways to express our creativity with, with light, even though this is not light painting anymore, it's still interesting to us. And also another example uh, that we do is this uh, media installation. It's some kind of a fluid simulation that we use for performances. And um, this is basically just the next step after the show with the light painting on stage. And as you can see, like, you know, this is basically not a real performance. It's more or less uh, 
a test video that we set up to show people how this works and we're still sort of trying to, to um, get this on a better level to sort of uh, create a decent show with this. So, and what you can see it's like anything that we do has always uh, is something between like an uh, uh, analog skill combined with modern technology or digital art. So, so this is something that we're really interested in and we're really looking forward to find uh, further ways to express ourselves. So this is pretty much what I can... Ah, there's another little thing. As you can see, like there's uh, a lot of different presets and, and ways that we can work with this. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And as we say, keep on writing. Thanks for listening.